Hello, today I would like to teach you guys the basics of using Mathematica. You can start by entering an input. To execute an input, hold shift and click enter. If you accidentally made an error and wanted to calculate something else, you can always go back and edit your input. And again, hold shift and click enter. By clicking the enter key alone, you'll create extra lines. This is useful for executing multiple lines of inputs at once. For example, a neat way of writing exponent is by holding control and click the number 6. To write in the small box right next to 3, click tab. You can create a square root by holding control and click the number 2. Alternatively, you can write an uppercase letter I and that will give you the same result. A fancy way of writing the imaginary unit I is by clicking escape, I, I and escape. There are also other variables used to store mathematical constants such as the Euler's number, E. A fancy way of writing it is by clicking escape, E, E, and escape. Another useful constant is pi. A fancy way of writing it is by clicking escape, P, and escape. All stored variables begin with capital letters and are case sensitive. So what if you wanted to do something more sophisticated such as solving equations? This is where you'll have to use the solve function. Just write solve beginning with an uppercase letter S, followed by rectangular brackets. You have to write your equation inside the brackets. Notice that I use two equal signs and not one, otherwise it won't execute properly. Since there is only one variable, Mathematica assumes you're solving for the variable x. What if there's another variable, let's say y? If you wanted Mathematica to solve for the variable x, you have to write it explicitly. Like this. To solve simultaneous equations, you do the same thing. But you have to add braces inside. All your equations must be separated by commas. To create a fraction, hold control and click the forward slash. To write in the box, right below x, click tab. To obtain your answer in numerals, you have to add two forward slashes and an uppercase letter N. What if there are other variables such as A, B, and C? If you still want to solve for X, Y, and Z, you have to write this explicitly. I think this is enough as an introduction to Mathematica. I hope you guys have found this useful and thanks for watching.